Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody is having a great day. Well, today we have another unbagging and it is quite the bag. So let's get this open and see who we do. And who it all came from. Well, we have three stamp cross stitches. And we have a diamond painting project. So, let's see. This is from DP Clubs. It will be in two parts. So I'll be right back and we'll start part one. Alright, I am back. So we're going to start with a little diamond painting project since it's right here. And the rest of it is free stamp cross stitches. So I saw these and I thought, why not, right? Whoops. Maybe I can get it undone. Jeez. Some days that stuff sticks, and some days not so much. Whoop. Got the important part. All right. So it looks like we got special drills. Comes with a tool kit with a pair of plastic tweezers, a pin, wax, and a boat, which is nice. Sometimes I use tweezers for the the special drills and sometimes not so much. Okay, so let's open this up. Oh, it's hearts. I was thinking it was going to be swans. I don't know what I was thinking. But these are barrettes. Let me see if I... Or, they're like clips. They'll need to be wiped off after you get it done. But you only put the drills on one side. It comes with three of them plastic on me and it does have plastic covering everything very very sticky now these you know since it's barrettes I would be more prone to put um, like a finishing stuff on it like that Tombow glue I forget what it's called Tombow glue I know Tombow makes it, and they have like four or five at Amazon, have four or five different things of the Tombow glue for different types of projects. But yeah, I would kind of put that on there and get rid of stuff. And then I'd take a little alcohol and clean up the back of it. You can kind of see it's got a little film back here, but it's moving when I put my hand on it. So just clean it off with alcohol. But yeah, they're quite big. I thought they were going to be way smaller than that. Let's see. They were six seventy nine for three. Let's take a look at the drills. Looks like they're all numbers. So there's only four colors here. And they're in baggies. Oh, I see. Hmm, no. Well, you can make them three different ways. So they have three separate bags. So you could do it in blue with the purple and the silver. Or you can do it with red. It's like a... Looks like carnival glass. Iridescence, that's the word I'm looking for. And pink ones going around. This one has silver hearts or clear crystal and yellow with the purple going all the way around so that's kind of cool i'm not going to take them out of there because they'll get lost or you can kind of mix and match whatever works for you so that's kind of cool i like that you don't have to make them all the same but the numbers sorry the numbers are the same in each one and on each one of these they have one through four. So you could make a smash and do it just however you wanted to do it. So that was kind of cool. And it's an inexpensive little project. I'm going to fold that up so nothing gets lost. And then we're going to put it right back in its little bag. Because it fit right in there nicely. That way nothing gets lost. Alright, let's look at the cross stitch. So... Isn't that beautiful? I mean, I just, I love 
peonies. I've loved peonies since I was old enough to know what a peony was. We had peonies growing in our backyard. Yeah. We had pink and white ones. We didn't have the dark reds or any other color. They were just pinks and whites. And there was like six of them down one side of the, the backyard. My grandmother had a rose garden. Then there was the peonies. And then there was the lilacs. Yeah. So somebody thought ahead. But it was always aromatic around my backyard. Undo this. And flip that over. Isn't that beautiful? Just beautiful. It's a gorgeous picture. Now this one was is a 40 by or 50 by 40, sorry. And it was 879. Let me put that up there and see if we can find us the the pattern. And undo it does have the product number, how big it is, and how many squares per square. Has 30 colors. You have no 310. You do have some 666 red. No 823. You do have some 939. No 3371, if I could just get it out. And you do have 3865. It is a full coverage. So yeah, this pattern will match your canvas. But it does have the colors running down the side. Very well printed. You can see it all. I mean, I could see it if I was just looking for that one, you know. But if I was going to look at this on a full-time basis, I'd have to blow this up or use my magnifying glass. Yeah. Let's take a look at these colors. Because I know they're going to be gorgeous. Now, they did write the, the last four numbers on the product number. The 2277. But look at those pinks. I gotta shake it out. I'm sorry. It just bugs me when it's all matted down there. There we go. Look at the pinks and the. It's like a purple pink and coral. And then you have your 939. And then you have the darker reds. Aren't they gorgeous? Look at that purple. It's like a magenta, maybe? Like a dark fuchsia, if you will. Yeah. And then you have a dark red. But yeah, oh, I just mm, love that. Love the colors. The color gets me every time. Between that and the picture, yeah. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Let's take a look. There's a piece of plastic still hanging around. It was on my finger for a while. Now it's got static electricity in it. There are two needles there. It does have the product number, how big it is, and how many square by squares per square. It does have the colors running down the side. Very nice big key. Nice canvas. I don't see any smears in the ink or anything. It might be a little bit confettied. Yeah, it's just mm, awesome. Just awesome. Loving it. Let's see over here. 49 and a half, which is close to 50, by, I'm trying. Come on, lay down. 40 and a half. It's a little bit bigger there. Actual picture size is. A uh, tad over 15 and a half or 39 and a half centimeters by mm, a little over 11 and three quarter or 30 centimeters. So nice size, you know, it'd be a nice spring summer project, but I just love those flowers. They are gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous. I can't get over how clear the canvas is. Very nicely printed. With no smears. I like that part. Just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Alright. Now the next one. Let me get it out of its bag. I saw this and I'm not real sure. 
you, you ever order something kind of go I'm not sure how that's all going to turn out but yeah so it is a male and a female peacock has a lot of detail in it that's why I'm just like mm, I'm not sure but it is a 46 by 46 and it was twelve seventy nine. Oh, and it's counted oh my god all right yeah, this is even going to be worse than I thought it was going to be. I didn't see that part. Sometimes I read right past things, you know, because I just expect it to be that way. Yeah, this is going to be counted. Hmm. Hmm. Never had a black symbol. That's kind of weird. Okay, decided to use those blacks and whites, huh? 40 colors. It has no 310. Uh does have 823, some 939, no 37, 3371, I always get that wrong, so if I get it wrong, I'm sorry, uh, 3865 for your whites, so yeah, this will be interesting, I'm glad it's not that big, but it seems to be fairly, I mean, here's the bird, and there's another bird's tail down here, so, I don't know how well this is going to go. Kids just don't. Hmm. May have to start up here where there's, you know, not so many colors because this corner is like confetti crazy. Yeah. We'll, we'll have to see. We will see. But nice big pattern though. I mean, it's readable. And it's about an 11 count size maybe 14 count you know so it's fair good size if you're gonna do counted hmm. yeah this is the one I didn't know about well now I have my reasons right so it does come with a tool kit and two little birds this one does have a needle threader five needles poof ball and a thimble which is nice Let's take a look at the colors. Oh, did I tell you it was 11 counts? Some days. Let's get rid of that. It doesn't have any, uh... Oh my goodness. No more, no extra skeins. I mean, words are hard today for some reason. Let's get everybody entangled. Give it a shake. So, yeah, you have like a plum color here. Look at that teal, dark teal, and there's your 3865. And then we have all these. Look at the dark blue for the peacock feathers. Mm, beautiful. And there's some magenta like we had in the last one. Hang on. Peace. We now have neighbors next door, and they've decided to come and go now. The Christmas is over. Yeah, I've never seen them until now. Very nice. Doesn't have a product number on here, but I could write that on there. Look at that beautiful purple blue. I don't think. What number? Oh, it is 550 purple. How about that? It's just so far down in the, the line here, I didn't expect it to be there. But you have lots of grays. I don't know if that's like charcoal and then darker charcoal. And then like a mossy green and that 154 purple. It and this are just two of my favorites. This has more red in it, like a red violet. It's just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Beautiful. Okay. Get that all wound up over there. Hopefully nothing will fall on us. Let's look at the canvas. The canvas is marked across and down, sorry, down this side. I had it too wide. It is surged all the way around. I don't know. Hmm. We'll have to see. But, yeah, I wish they'd put lines on this. It's just kind of totally insane. So, I don't know. Kind of odd. 
to say the very, very least. Huh. Yeah. And it's square, because it's 45 by 45. We'll have to think long and hard on these. And I have to get to the library and make a copy of the section, say, I'm working on. Because it needs to be, like, right on top of me. This is 18 and a half or 47 inches. I mean, centimeters, sorry. By 46 centimeters. Actual picture size is... 16 inches, maybe close to 16 and a quarter, or 41 by... Trying to get it to lay down. 40 centimeters. Hmm. 40 centimeters or 15 and three quarters. And it does have the... Sorry. The uh, key running along the side. It's nice and big. So, and the thread doesn't go into the numbers. I usually am just looking for a symbol. So, yeah, we'll have to... I'll get a copy, and we'll start up in that, sorry, upper right-hand corner, and just go for broke. Yeah, it does have product number, how big it is, and how many squares per square, so it'll be a challenge, but not this week. No, I don't know. Maybe I can use a challenge, you know, to get my brain together, so we'll see. We will see. All right. Now, they do have, DP Club has diamond painting and cross stitch. They have crafts and tools for both of those. They also have paint by number. And they have no embroidery. And they do have paint by number. I do have a 15% off discount that you can um, use when you go there. I'm not sure about their free shipping. It kind of fluctuates during Christmas. You know, they have specials and deals and everything. So, check that out. Thank you, DP Clubs, for sending me these beautiful, beautiful kits. And part two will be next Wednesday. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye.